In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you some advantages of using the pre-cut tool when editing raw footage. Oftentimes we'll have a long piece of video and there's segments of it that we want to use or might want to use but others that we definitely know we don't want to deal with. So the pre-cut tool gives you an option of selecting certain sub-segments in your video to use in your current project or in future projects. So I'm going to click on the video I placed in the media room with the right mouse button and choose the option that simply says pre-cut. This will take me to my pre-cut screen which is virtually identical to my trim and multi-trim screen. I can do a single trim if I click up on the tab on the left and just pre-cut one segment out of the video. Now in this video I have a low drone shot of two men practicing tennis. I'd like to just cut out the parts where they're striking the ball, not the parts where they're chasing after the balls that they've already hit. That's rather boring. So I'm going to do some multi-trim. I'll click on that tab and we'll take some segments where these guys are working and striking the ball. Now we're going to use a mark in and we're going to use a mark out. What you see below the preview here are different segments that you can use to find those locations. And my default here is 10 seconds. So if I want to move in the video in that length, I simply move to the frame I want and it will move my slider automatically and show me a preview. Now if I don't want a 10 second gap, I can click on the plus key. It will change it to a 5 second gap. I can click again and it's down to 1 second. I can click again, it's five frames, and I can click once more and go down to a single frame. That's not what I want to do in this particular video. We'll back up. You can go the other direction as well, obviously. But what I want to do is I want to go to the very beginning, and that's going to be my mark in. We're going to start at the first frame. And I'll click my mark in icon. Now the shortcut, which I encourage you to learn, is the I key on the keyboard. I press that, I have my mark in, and it starts at the first frame of my video. Now I need a mark out. I've already written down some of the time when I want to control the length of these subclips, and so I'm going to use my time code. You can always click on it and type the number. I'm going to go to for six seconds and eight frames and press enter, and that gives me that location in my video. I'm going to use my mark out. Again, we can click here or just press the O key. Now I have my first segment. My second one from the notes I've taken looking at this starts at 22 seconds and 16 frames. I'll press enter. I'll do I for in. And that ends at 43 and 26. Press enter, O for out. I'll do one more. The last one is one minute and three seconds and 21 frames. Press enter, I for in, and the out is 132 and O4. Press enter, O for out. Now I've identified three segments that I'm going to use in this video. Then I click on OK. Now what I have is I have three pre-cuts that I can use in my project. If I click on the gray up arrow, that takes me back to my main video. I can take and drag it in and use it in my project any way I want, just like a normal segment of video. It's there for me to use. I'll undo that. But now if I want to use a pre-cut, I click on the folder in the lower right corner and it will give me each of these three pre-cuts that I can treat like a normal independent video. I'll take pre-cut one and drop it in the track and then I'll take pre-cut three and put it beside it. Now the pre-cut does not determine the final length of your segment. You can edit this by making it longer or shorter. You haven't permanently 
shorten the video to this limit. But this gives you an example. So here when I'm going to play this, we're going to finish the first segment where they're striking the ball. And he hits the ball over to the right and then we pop instantly to the next one. We we have uh, excluded the area where they're working and picking up the balls which no one wants to see anyway. So I'll stop that again. I can take pre-cut 2. They don't have to stay in that same order. And we'll play the end of this little game here. And, and then we pop right into the next one. We can add transitions between these and do anything else we want. Now the nice thing about this is when you go back to the major project, if you decide you want to keep those pre-cuts for another particular project, you don't have to do anything. I'm going to go File, New Project, and then I'll bring in my data file. And notice I pulled it in and it remembered that I did pre-cuts on it. So I'm in a completely different project, but I said, hmm, that raw data was good. I want to use that. In fact, I'll use pre-cut 2 in this project to make this work. Now to delete a pre-cut, all you have to do is click on the pre-cut and press the delete key and it will go away for that project. So if you want to remove them, that's an easy way to do that. But pre-cuts are nice ways of taking footage and doing some preliminary editing in terms of segment length and using it in the current project or in the future one.